show you today how to create your own text shot for your own game. First of all, we need to go to Google and search for NVIDIA text tools for Adobe Photoshop. So just click on that link there. Then you press download. And then you don't you don't know the version of Windows that you have either 32 bits or 64 bits I gonna do it 64 and once it done let's just double click on it and then press run I'm not gonna install on that computer because it's already installed and when you install there will be a communicate show up that you have to put your user organization and email and afterward just install once you you install open the Photoshop to check if you if the NVIDIA tool is installed so we go to filter and there is the NVIDIA tool Th that one there so then w afterwards we can create our textures using the target format so thank you very much and make sure to watch all the videos on online design teacher thank you very much hello i'm gonna show you how to create table texture for your game table texture is like brick wall wall and wood palette then go to website you can download your image it is mayang.com slash texture google images or cgi texture once you get your image open in a photoshop Take out the parts that you don't need. Like I'm gonna take out the parts here in my brickwork. Now I'm gonna resize. Make sure to constrain proportion. It's off and type 512 by 512 because it's the power of two. I'm gonna zoom up. Now I'm going to filter all their offset and set the vertical to half or your picture just to 56. Now I'm going to select the clone tool. There is the burst size, there is the hardness of burst, so I'm going to select 300 and 300 size of burst and 100% of burst hardness so it would be go quickly so you hover over two areas you want to copy you select all you press alt and then you see little target you press left click sorry forgot you have to press alt you have to hold and press alt then you press the area that you want and you basically just copy As you see, the clone tool working fast because the hardness is 100%. If you copy, you can use sharpen tool, which is that one there, to take out, take clone effects. But don't overuse it because you will destroy your image. I'm gonna make my image lighter first by using dodge tool. I'm gonna use the size of 100. So that's the Dutch door and size 150. And you just have to press and hold to make object lighter or shadows lighter, just depends. And now I'm gonna use burn tool make my object darker again you have to press and hold as you see the object it's getting darker I'm gonna press one more time to make it more darker you can press as many times you will you like it all depends on your game and texture that you want to put to your game once you are happy with the effect go to the image adjustment and there is many different options but I'm gonna select hue and saturation and select colorize because you can see 
the effect of color changing your texture so I'm gonna make my darker about minus 65 I'm gonna put the saturation to a hundred so as you see it changed color to a very bright one and I'm gonna put the hue to about 22 once you're happy of your texture save as a target format it's down on there and either save as a 16 bytes per pixel or 32 bytes per pixel I'm gonna say 32 Be because it's the power of 2 and close it now go to the file when you save your target format open it unlock the layer you can call anyone that you want I'm gonna call my bricks and now we go to the filter NVIDIA to normalize my filter and you know select bias RGB and press OK As you, at the moment we just see transport cam canvas so we're gonna select here overlay and we're just gonna duplicate the layers as you see you can see later effects shown up as more you duplicate the more effects you can see so just gonna duplicate a few times You can duplicate as many layers you want until you get the effect that you want. Then you go to your filter, NVIDIA to your normal map filter, and then you select normalize only. And press OK. And then you save again as a target format. But save differently, just for the case if you have to do again so your other target format won't be destroyed. So I'm just gonna call my wall brick wall N or N yes. and save it again select 32 or 16 bytes I'm gonna select 32 and once you have you done your texture in your video file tra you can transport them to your game and apply to your buildings thank you very much for watching and make sure to watch other videos on online design teacher thank you